It started off with a simple night of sitting down and watching TV together. Images flicked back and forth across the screen. Eventually, it showed a man standing in front of a rainbow flag and talking about how he owned a hotel that welcomed all couples, no matter their sexuality. I felt my heart light up. I couldn't help but feel the joy of people being accepting towards others, despite their differences. I glanced across the room at my dad, who was reclining on the maroon leather couch with his nose wrinkled in distaste. My little brother scoffed at the TV and turned his head away. Those people are disgusting. I can't believe they would show that on TV. The words were barely able to escape his lips when immediate rage filled me from head to toe. I know. I'm sorry you had to see that, my dad said sympathetically, as if my brother had just watched someone be murdered right before his eyes. You can't say that about people. Theirs is the same as you, but with different beliefs. Your brother is allowed to think what he wants. He is right. They are revolting because they are going against God's will. It isn't your God's will to call other people disgusting and judge them based on their actions, is it? I snapped. He would not want you to look at other people without knowing them and saying that they are disgusting. If anything, you are the ones acting vile. All people are equal. My dad stomped towards me and got down to my level. I could feel my body trembling with unease. These people are in the wrong. Who are you to stand up for them? We have every right to say what we want about them, my dad snarled. Thoughts raced in circles around my head. As quickly as I could, I squirmed away from him and made a mad dash for my room. Slamming the door behind me, the air that had been clogging my throat came unstuck and a sob broke past my lips. I haven't been able to stop myself from wondering ever since that experience if that is how it will be when my parents find out. I will no longer be their precious daughter. I'll be a bad stain that you can't get rid of. I'll be looked at as a sin rather than a person for something that I do not have control of. I have found comfort in my few friends that have relatable problems to mine. They all tell me that there is nothing to worry about and that once I am out of the house, I can do what I want and without having to worry about my parents. While I know that this is true, that's not the thing that concerns me. I'm worried about whether or not my family will still love me and stay in contact with me even after I tell them the truth. I have finally grown to accept myself despite my sexuality, but I know that others won't accept me no matter what I do. But maybe that's okay. The people who take me in and love me as I am currently are the people I should keep near me and never let go of. And hopefully my family will be included in that group someday. Oh my god, and we totally jumped off the cliff and had to swim all the way to shore because the dog chased us all the way to the end. Oh.